Greetings. My name is Jay Sargas, and I'm the director of the Center for Engaged Teaching at the University of California, San Diego. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for yet another podcast of our weekly Scholarship of Teaching and Learning article. Today, I'm joined by two of our staff in the center, Dr. Sheena Ganbari and Mr. Paul Hajapiris. Hello, Jace. Thank you for the invitation to join you today. Likewise. Thanks very much for having us. We're pleased to offer a major event next Friday, January 26th, from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. in your Center for Engaged Teaching called Apps and Appetizers. The event will allow faculty to share how they are integrating meaningful technology into their practice. Examples include infographics, screencasts, video scribe, and student response systems. Therefore, we would like to share an article today by France et al. entitled Ability of Students to Recognize the Relationship Between Using Mobile Apps for Learning During Fieldwork and the Development of Graduate Attributes. Yes, the data reveals that students' understanding of the value of applications differs depending on how each app was used and their prior knowledge. So methods of scaffolding and scaffolding appear to be essential. Students' understanding of the value of the mobile app used in the development of the graduate attributes, which were identified as graduate student knowledge, skills, and dispositions, applied in a range of contexts and differed depending on how each mobile app was utilized during their field course and the student's prior knowledge. The data suggests 27 mobile apps were associated with at least one graduate attribute. Accordingly, the results show 78% were aligned to two or more, and a further 22% of apps, for example, WWW, Prezi, Office, Mendeley, Kino, and Goodreader, to all four graduate attributes. This suggests that the students consider these apps to be useful and multi-purpose in developing a range of graduate success factors. Yeah, thank you. Um, the researchers note that email, Evernote and Numbers app were recognized as the least effective to develop GAs. In addition, no one app was identified by all four focus groups as contributing to the development of one or more of the attributes. It was further noted that the goal of incorporating the use of apps in context was to encourage a more active learning approach, which aims to ensure the students are consciously aware of how and perhaps why they're using the apps. Ideally, this approach will help students select appropriate tools throughout their career. Overall, the students were able to quickly reach a consensus on the pedagogic and developmental value of each app, which related strongly to their group experience of integrating apps in learning activities. So in conclusion, the authors indicate that using a mob mobile applications can be multi-beneficial while promoting distinct skill sets simultaneously. Additionally, the methods through which students use applications can influence perceived links between the applications and the GAs. Well, that wraps up another weekly podcast. I would like to thank our guests for sharing their expertise with us today, and we look forward to another chat next week.